Hello everybody, my name's Magnus and welcome to Let's Play Shining Force. Uh, last time we met, uh, we went and finished up the circus battle, fought a boss that was supposed to be a lot harder and didn't give me as much trouble as it probably should have. Uh, I've been getting actually kind of lucky in this game. And uh, we moved on to Shade Abbey where we were ambushed by a bunch of skeletons and zombies by Dark Soul. Uh, he, he will be doing this many, 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 many of times. Uh, not this specific thing, but you get it. Uh, this map is uh, really a short map. You do not have a lot of space, and that's actually kind of the point. Uh, you are surrounded on all sides. You're gonna get attacked immediately by all of these zombies, which always give trouble anyway, uh, with the exception of Blaze. And uh, you have this ghoul as the quote-unquote boss here. Uh, I don't remember if we fight ghouls later on, but uh, this just might be a, a mini-boss, really. Uh, but it's got a lot of attack power, so you just gotta be careful with it, and decent amount of defense. Uh, and then you have the skeletons again, uh, pretty pretty rough to fight three of them. Uh, I don't know if this, I don't remember if the skeletons move at first, or if they kind of, or at least these two. If, or if they stick around them, but pretty much everybody else moves up. So your big, your, your big goal here is to go through and protect your leader, uh, Max, or what is this one? It is Max, that way I didn't get confused. Yeah, uh, I, I commonly use character names of Luke, uh, so that gets confused with, well, Luke. As you see in my Shining Force 2 plays. But this is a perfect spot for your wizards to gain their levels. Uh, I don't have any Blaze 2 targets yet, but um, Teo won't die in the hit. Uh, we can go through and Blaze. It's a little bit risky to send Anri at that point up there, but uh, I'm willing to take the risk to damage that zombie. These zombies just take forever to kill. Even now, they still take a lot of time. Nice! That's why it's gonna be sad seeing Teo go. Um, Hans cannot be up there, uh, but this is a good move. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and try to take this guy out because we wanna protect Henry. Maybe it's not gonna kill the zombie, not even close. Again, this is gonna take a long time, uh, but you wanna definitely move Max down. Now Max can take some damage and because he gets uh, attacked a lot, uh, he actually really helps all of your other members survive. Uh, so you definitely want to use that to your advantage. Uh, I'm going to... No, I need to protect Henry. That's the biggest thing I need to do. And we'll try to get a little pop shot at the skeleton. Oh, this is going to take a long time. <laughs> this is why you have mages. All right, and then Luke's gonna go over here. This is actually working out really well for me. Um, I'm getting really lucky with this turn order uh, because usually you you end up having some of these zombies and skeletons go before you or before some of your characters and uh, that really messes with things. You're not able to take some of them down when you need to. Uh, yeah, the skeleton moves. I was pretty sure on that one. I do not know about the other ones though. Oh, oh, how? Oh, this is this is gonna be ah uh, oh. They're in blaze formation. That's good. Uh, yeah, skeletons hurt. They have middle swords. They are, and of course I'm. Go oh God. <laughs> no. All right. Um. Yeah. This is hard. Um. This this. This spot's actually a favorite spot for me for uh experience points. Uh, but right now, this is, this is bad. <laughs> Alright, so, I need to go through and give some characters a power ring. You know what? You know, it's gonna be perfect for this. Uh, I really need a hot, hard hitter to get this boost so he can just kill things in a hit. Uh, and that guy is Gort. Get some uses. Bam. Good. All right. Well, yeah. I just need to take out the skeletons. There we go. Even he is just killing these guys in one hit. And 
Oh, he's got more attack power. That's fantastic. And he's, he's, actually, I think he is my hardest hitter. All right. Um, let's go through and heal. No, no, this is more important. <laughs> Sorry, I was just thinking to myself here. It's like, why do I feel like I need to do some? I need to heal somebody else, and that's because Max almost died in the first round. So the game kind of gets back at you for having some good luck. Uh, there's Detox. It's gonna help out so much. Yep, yep, yep. They all move, um, but I'm okay with him attacking Gort. Gort has the de defense and a decent amount of health, so. Um, now the question is, do I use Blaze 2 on the skeletons or Blaze 2 on the zombies? And I'm actually preferential towards the zombies right now. Because uh, they just take a long time, they poison. I'd rather damage them. Pretty bad. Because I was going to kill any of the skeletons, but I was going to hurt them. Okay. Um, just kill that zombie outright. Go, uh, but this map is difficult because it takes so long to kill these guys. Uh, but if you can keep up with the amount of damage that you're you're taking, um, it's pretty simple. You go through, you barricade yourself. That way, you're not being surrounded, uh, and characters don't get hit by more than one. Which I didn't quite set myself up properly for that, but it's not. I didn't set myself up terribly. Uh, more important that I heal. Uh, so, but as long as you, as long as you get yourself set up decently, this isn't too bad. It just these guys hit hard, and they take a, you know, it takes a lot to kill them. So, focus on your high damage output as much as you can, and then healing those guys. Uh, just rinse, repeat. It's a very quick map. A very quick map, but it's great for it's also great for experience because there's a lot of enemies that you can kill right off the bat. So if you keep coming back to this map, uh, you just have a ton of kill experience, which Gort is enjoying. <laughs> ah, boost spell ended. Oh well. Okay, so we're gonna go through and help out Max Hans with his new steel arrow. That doesn't mean he hits better. <laughs> Alright. Come on, Max. Alright. That's what I was hoping for. Okay. Let's see what Max can do. I see him attack him a little bit. And, okay, thank God. I was gonna say I can't I can't have, you know, botch mania going over here. May can take some hits, so yeah, we'll do this. It'll be slow, but we'll clear out these zombies. Oh, and, she, and she's poisoned. Didn't, didn't think about that. Okay. Um, let's see here. What can I do? If I move over here, he's dead. I know that. I don't, but I don't want to just keep using that boost ring. But I will. Uh, he doesn't really have any good options without him dying, and I'd rather him not. He needs to at least get some sort of experience. Um, I feel like I'm going to regret this, but I'm going to give it to Hans. Just need to focus on getting guy or hitting guys, and since he can attack at range, he's going to be able to hit guys that the others can't. At least not, at least not be able to hit them well. Uh, who's injured? You're no, you're not injured. Of course, fine. Maze a little bit. Max. Okay, I'll just stick stick with healing Max. Ah. There we go. And up. Oh. Yeah, so sometimes the AI, like I said, it, this game's AI is weird. Sometimes they just stand there. Uh, they'll move and then stand there. It doesn't make too much sense, but it works. It's fine. I mean, I'm not really complaining. 
These skeletons hurt. Blaze it. There we go. And this is it's great to have a second mage. But you do not get Blaze 2 with her for a while, because you're gonna get Freeze 2 first. Yeah, we'll do this. That's fine. Um. Yeah, that should be good for him. As long as Hans hits. Gah! Ah, <laughs> oh, why? <laughs> Okay, so I can either clear them all out, or I can actually spread out some experience here. Zombies aren't doing too much to me. Um, you know what, we'll, we'll do... We'll do this one so we weaken them. So I know I'm gonna get hurt, but I should be okay. I'll give Max this kill, that's good. Or not! <sighs> okay, so this is how it's gonna play out. This is lovely. Lovely. I'll give Gong the experience. Or Have I told you how much I hate dodging zombies? I hate dodging zombies. So this is what the normal problem that I have in the desert map that I don't think I actually had this time through. This game is deciding that, nope, this is the tie. Uh, yeah, let's take out that skeleton. Good job, Gort. He's gonna be around for a while, so I don't mind him getting a lot of experience. There we go. Uh, did he get... No, but I do want to detox him. I don't normally do this in the battle, but in, in an effort to keep Max uh, healthy and not dead... Take care of that. That way he doesn't get double attacked and then poisoned. <sighs> Alright, Arthur. Here's your time to shine. Slash, just get some regular experience. Oh, come on! <laughs> come on! No way. No way I'm missing this much with everybody. Oh. Oh, this is stupid. This is stupid. Ah. Oh. Oh. So, like I said, I've had good luck on this stream. Uh, or on this, uh, on these recordings. Uh, this is my usual luck. Uh, this is why I love mages so much. I'll leave those two on the one hit point. Just just in case I can actually uh, get them with other people. Because Teo doesn't need any more levels. She's going to be going away soon. Henri, on the other hand. In fact, I might be able to just save Arthur. Believe it or not, I want to do more than Max, although that might be the greatest mistake I've made. Yeah, they may move down to Max anyway. Okay, I'll take that. I know I'm going to look at you one point of damage, but... Yeah, take that. Got she's poisoned. Okay, I can actually, yeah, Gong can can take that if he hits. 
Ai. I don't know what to say anymore. Uh, <laughs> why? Uh, it's not like you can see why that's happening either. Um, so this game does have a miss mechanic in there, like automatically built in. There's everybody has a chance of missing. And certain monsters or characters have a higher chance of being missed. Uh, but it doesn't tell you outright. It's in the code. Uh, but when you see this, kind of just defeats you on the inside because of how much like how much time you're trying to put towards killing a single enemy come on <laughs> oh no I'm just mm. you know what let's see if Max can kill him how much you want to bet misses? Hey! He hit! Thank God! Alright, now we can go on to normal. And see what we can do here. Um, it's gonna take a long time to get this cool down at the rate that we're doing it. Uh, that's what we have mages for. We're gonna go send them up. They're gonna blaze them. It'll be fun. There you go. What's this attack? 16? That's not too good. It's a point of damage. I won't typically do this, but... Hey. Gotta get the misses out of the way, right? There we go. Finally had some use for that boost and it goes away. But that's okay. The cannery will take the, the honors of this. Unless somebody else does a miracle. Yep, there we go. Alright, uh, Arthur's a little bit more behind than I wanted, but, I mean, you saw his misses on things that I set up for him. Uh, he'll live. He'll be fine. I am Balmoroy. I was turned to stone by Dark Soul when he took the bodies of the dead. And that's it. That's all the backstory that you got. And obviously, there's another bird person out there. Yeah. They meant to have his portrait up. I will join you to fight Dark Souls evil. And that's one of my favorite types of characters. I love the Birdmen. They are awesome in this game. Anybody that plays a game like this, the Flyers, they're wonderful. Thank you for saving Balveroy. Let me go with you so I can... I... Yeah. Let me go with you so I too can fight evil. I can speak. Definitely can speak without messing things up, as we've seen in many, many streams. To reach Uranbatal, you must go through Bestoke. We will guide you there. I will join your friends. Max and the Shining Force head towards Bestoke. What awaits them there? The Lexi of the Ancients is still mystery. Will they ever solve it? Chapter 2 Spirit of the Holy Spree. End. And that's the end of Chapter 2. And we'll go through and save. Chapter 3 Secret Weapon of Runefaust. The Shining Force arrived in Bestoke, a town built into a mountainside. That's it. That's all the narration you get. Beware of falling rocks! Hello, little girl. 
I miss my daddy. When is when is he coming back? That's it. Um. Well, I will go through and explore town for the rest of this. I think. Please rescue my husband from the quarry. You're our only hope. Oh, we won. Yep. Uh, we'll meet a person here soon. That'll be fun. How to fly, up and away, and many more books. Let's see here. My father was taken away to the quarry. Please bring him back. Hey. So all the men have gone, have been taken over to the quarry by Runefaust's forces. Life in a cliff, high altitude cookbook, blah, blah, blah. Standard region themed stuff. Oh, not all the men apparently. Because you still have your merchants. What do we have here? So that's the item merchant. And then we've got the weapon shop. Actually, I've got to check something real quick. Hold on a second. Uh, do, 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 do. Yeah, figure out what characters I am going to be getting rid of in what order uh, before I go get any items for people that would uh, that wouldn't be here. Um, so just step, stand by for a second as I go through that and enjoy the town music. Do 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 all right so uh we're obviously adding balbaroy and aemon uh and we are going to be losing luke and ken uh which is very unfortunate uh because those are two heavy hitters uh for us uh, and one fast unit. We're getting another two fast units for it, but uh, we're going to be losing the, the hard-hitting part of that. Um, and we'll be losing others soon, actually. Well, well you'll see in a, in a second. You'll see in a little bit. Um, I'm actually going to hold off on this until I get all of my Shining Force set up, and then I'll buy everything. It's a very tiny place. My husband was taken away in the middle of building our house. It's only half done. And that's our main concern. I am a master alchemist. I can make anything. Can I help you? First, you must help me. To cure Zylo, I need you to make that Lunar Dew. But to do that, I need Moonstone. You must go to the quarry, find Moonstone, and bring it back to me. More important than saving the people in the quarry. Yeah. Uh, priest... Can't go down oh, over that way. I'm not going to talk to any more of the women because they talk about the same thing. Uh, that's the Shining Force, but we'll get to that in a second. Now we're going to here. We talk to this woman. I've been waiting for warriors of the Shining Force. Are you one of them? Somehow they've heard of you. Great! You must help us. The Runefaust army took our men to dig in the quarry. They're looking for a weapon of the ancients, a laser eye. Diane can lead you there. As Zylo was saying, you could ch he could surely help you. If you're going to the quarry to rescue the men, you can count me in. And there's Diane, the better Hans. Kind of. Arguably. Better initially. You're just tired of Hans at this point. I'll be at headquarters. I don't know why I keep adding like slight little bits of it. It's not even like a full English accent or anything. I just add an English accent like little tidbits here and there. I feel sorry for Zylo. Do you want to hear about him? Sure! Rufus army poured something into Zylo's drink. It made him crazy. We had to lock him up to protect ourselves. And we can go to here. Climb a bunch of stairs. There is a bridge in the valley that connects Mistoke and Pow. Pretty sure that's how you pronounce that. The Rufaust army is gathering there, doubtless preparing for attack. And hey, look, it's our favorite climber, explorer person that you would expect to join you at some point in time, but doesn't. I forget his name. It's not that important. And down the other way is Zylo. Uh, we'll meet up with him later. Uh, for now, we have a bunch of people to go through and switch out. Alrighty, so some, say goodbye to some of these characters. We know it's Kai or Ken, Kylo, uh, Ken and Luke, 
Uh, and who else? Uh, and Teo. So we know that our power level is going way down. Uh, so it's just going to make it more difficult. Um, but that's okay. So, as you didn't see before, uh, they've, they've got this back area, uh, and people are here. You can talk to them, and they have different, uh, dialogue with them when they're in the back than when they're actually out to fight. And they, they'll change based on, uh, your environment, uh, which we'll get into in later chapters, and I'll show you. Come on, Max, let us in on the fun! We're bored down here! Boring! I want action! It feels good to rest. And that's my boy, Balboroy. Uh, I love the flyers. Alrighty. Let's see here. We'll go through and add on. So she already has that. That's fantastic. She already has a steel arrow. Um, so... Doo -doo -doo -doo. Yeah, it doesn't show the exact order in here. Uh, we'll trade you for Ken. Uh, we'll take Ammon for... Luke. Balroy. Or Teo. Alright, nobody else to be replaced. Let's see if he has any good advice for this fight. Uh, I actually don't use this a lot. Uh, so if you're new to the game, this might help to figure out what type of battle that you're about to come up to. Uh, but the advice isn't really that good, so you don't really need it. Use your flying friends well. Also, monks and priests gain experience by healing. You, you've just had two chapters with monks and priests, if you picked up a monk. Uh, and you didn't figure out you get experience by healing? So sometimes, like I said, that advice is just not useful. But here they are, in the lineup. Uh, and I'll do this with, I'll do this with everybody, and I'm pretty sure I did it in the other ones. If I didn't, somebody let me know below. Uh, but I'll go through and talk to them in their dialogues here as they change up. Uh, as they're in the party and out. With me along, there is nothing to fear from flying enemies. Leave air combat to me. No one could take us as long as I have my wings. Yes, that's true. <laughs> I will fight until Dark Soul is defeated or I'm finished on the battlefield. That's that's great. Um, and we'll check out their stats when we get to them. Um, yeah. It, it'll be a little bit interesting. Uh... <laughs> It'll be a little bit interesting discussing them, because uh, everybody has different opinions uh, about the characters in here. Uh, first thing, always check for deals, just in case there's an item that I forgot or messed up. Um, so I got rid of Ken, I can go through and sell stuff. And get rid of Lance. I have Arthur. I have Gort, I do not have Luke anymore. Everybody had those weapons, so we're good. And Teo didn't have anything anyway. Fantastic. Alright, go through and buy. So they still have the middle sword, so that is going to help me out. They do have middle axes, so they'll help out uh, Gort here. So, in Shining Force 2, they actually allow you to equip it, and they also give you, to, or show you what the difference is in their attack based off of the, the weapon that you gave them. So it's a lot better. Uh, so you would, maybe you didn't know that the axes were going to be more powerful than the swords as long as it's that similar level or above. Um, so it can be a little bit confusing if you haven't seen it before. Uh, like I said, oh, I need to sell Hans's stuff, but not Hans's stuff. Hans's uh, wooden arrow. All right, and we'll give Arthur uh, the power spear, which is way better than uh, than any of his stuff. Same thing with me. Oh, um, I give it to Ken, and I'll trade it over. And we'll go through and sell some stuff. So, it's better than the lance and the, the spear. Uh, and the power spear is actually going to be something that you carry around with you for a very long time. It's the only spear that you'll have. Uh, 
good. I I I think uh, there might be one more throwing weapon. I don't even think there's a different another throwing weapon uh, for a while, but it's it's very powerful in here. You'll you'll actually see the attack go up by a decent amount. I think Arthur's last attack was like uh, 19 with the bronze lance, so you'll see that. All right, and that's it for that. And that should be everybody's stuff. I'll go through and give my flyers some uh, healing items from those that don't need them anymore. The good part about uh, giving your flyers healing items too is they have a huge amount of movement. So you have the, wow, even my regular guys don't have, <laughs> don't have stuff. Uh, I'll fix that. This is going to be a little bit of item rearranging here. But uh, you want to give your flyers, definitely your flyers, uh, some healing items because they can move to your injured guys and use them. They don't get any extra experience, uh, but they are useful. Oh, okay, that I figured what that was. Uh, hold on just a moment as I continue to do stuff.
I apologize about that. I apparently was on mute that entire time. So I kind of was just rambling on about stuff and whatnot. But anyways, I switched around all my inventory. Uh, everybody has healing stuff. And now we're in the battle. Uh, <laughs> sorry if that was meant. I don't know how I accidentally muted myself, but I did. And I'll try not to do that again. Uh, anyways, Master, we have found it. The laser eye at last. This is the end of that cursed shining force. Because apparently we're the big deal around. The ragtag group of young people thrown together trying to fight evil more so than any army that they're fighting. Yeah, it's, it's us. Get rid of those men from the stoke. They are no further use to us. Alert, intruders. What? The shining force? Stop then! We must have time to remove the laser eye! And begins the battle. Alright, we're gonna go over the characters and then uh, we'll go into the next time. Uh, go into this battle the next time. I think that's kind of working out well. Uh, sorry that there was a lot of either nothingness or more narrative stuff for most of this. The last battle is fairly quick uh, just because of its nature. But we'll go over the characters because that takes a little bit of time. Um, first up, the first one that we got was Balbaroy. Um, he is a Birdman, uh, so that means that he's got a lot of movement, as you see a 7. He is able to fly. Uh, in this game, there's there's those that fly and those that don't. Uh, there's there's really no differences in that. In, other game, in further games, there are hoverers and flyers, but in this case, it's just a flyer. Uh, so he's got a lot of movement. Uh, he has... He flies over any obstacle. Any obstacle. There, there are a couple of things that may block him, uh, such as inside walls, uh, if you're in an inside map, but it's not usually too bad. Uh, there's not many of those, to be quite honest. You're going to be able to go around a lot of obstacles with this guy, uh, and with Ammon at the same time. So already their their scores are going to be a bit inflated well not inflated but the scores are going to be higher because of that movement and that uh and how they move and how far they move um generally he's got an okay amount of attack it's nothing special uh he is not one of your regular frontline fighters uh in this case actually his attack is pretty decent in comparison to some other guys uh no, they don't have their stuff equipped so that's actually not fair uh, but, you know, Hans just has got a new weapon, uh, we're sticking with the old wep- or older weapons for the other guys, and, uh, he's got a little bit less attack than Hans. Uh, Hans is a level higher than him. Um, so, again, it, it was just not fantastic, but Hans' attack is actually kind of good right now. Um, but, an okay amount of attack, his defense is alright. Uh, it's a little low, and it's going to be low. Um, his agility is going to be okay, and his HP is going to be okay. So basically, he's got average stats. Uh, nothing good, nothing terrible. Uh, he's not going to be an absolute class cannon, but he's not. But he's definitely a little more fragile than what you want. Uh, however, when he grows, he's going to maintain this level. So there's a little bit that you have to watch out for. Uh, to make sure he doesn't die, but he can reach places that you normally can't reach. He's going to be be able to get around uh, to the back sides of the enemy to be able to uh, hit enemies that you've already hurt and kill them. Uh, and he wields swords, which in this game is actually really good. Uh, he, in fact, the, the Birdmen are actually able to hold the uh, Sword of Darkness, Sword of Light, and I don't think and the Chaos Breaker, but they're able to hold those swords. And you'll get some pretty powerful ones later on. So if you're intending to keep the Birdmen, uh, you can equip them with the most, with the, basically some of the most powerful weapons that are around, and they're going to do fantastic for you. Uh, I rate Balbaroy. Hmm. I don't have a lot of five-star units 
Uh, I don't think he rates as a five-star unit, uh, but he is a solid four-star. He's kind of up there. That movement and his the way that he moves is fantastic. You'll always want to have at least one flyer with you, and Balbaroy is a great candidate for that. And you'll see all my all of my flyers are going to be highly rated in this. I love to use them, and they're fantastic. Plus, you don't see it in this map, but you'll see it in the next map. Uh, they get around terrain. Terrain sucks. You know those desert maps? Oh, that type of terrain? Balbaroy doesn't care. He just flies through it. Doesn't slow him down. It's going to be great. Uh, next up, we have Eamon. Uh, significantly weaker. As you can see, uh, just right off the bat, uh, four less defense, which is insane, and then uh, less attack. I think as they grow, uh, Eamon's going to be kind of, you know, neck and neck with Balbaroy. I think she ends up with a little bit less attack and a little bit more defense uh, based on the average growth rate of them. But she's significantly weaker, just, just straight up looking at stats right now. Uh, has one more point of agility, that does not matter. Uh, but still has the abilities of the Birdman. Um, so that's something you're going to have to kind of take uh, with her, is that she's a little bit weaker. Um, so instead of in the upper ends of a 4-star, she's, she's at the lower ends of the 4-star because of how much weaker uh, she is. She is a lot more fragile. Uh, that 7 defense and 16 HP is not going to do well against this 26 attack Dark Elf. Um, <laughs> dark, that Dark Elf might be able to take her out in a single hit. Uh, I'm pretty sure it does. Uh, so that's going to be concerning. The other thing to talk about Flyers that I did not mention is they do not take advantage of the land effect. So they do not get extra defensive bonuses uh, for the type of terrain that they're on. So that makes them a little bit more weaker in the, uh, a little bit weaker in the defense. Uh, so you got to take that into account. Uh, so they're going to be like I said, they're going to be kind of fragile, but not seriously fragile. Um, but yeah, Ammon is definitely worse, uh, but I still have the four stars because of the versatility that you get with the Birdman. Um, now, we're going to take a look at Diane, but first, take a look at Han's stats. 26, right? Our 13 hit points, 20 attack, 6 defense. A level 5 Diane, or sorry, level 6 Diane, 21 attack, 7 defense, 14 HP, and you had to do nothing to get her here. This is the great part about Diane. If you played Hans and got frustrated with his levels, you can ditch Hans, you could bring in Diane, and you have just as powerful of an archer. In fact, a little bit more in my case. Uh, just as powerful of an archer without having to put the work in. This is, this is crazy. Uh, why they gave you an archer like that that you didn't have to put the work in uh or really why do they give you hans that is the better question why do they give you hans who has no growth um whereas diane uh really just skips over that awkward phase now diane she like you think okay so she's a lot better than hans or she's gonna end up a lot better than hans really in the end they're about the same uh they they don't really have too many differences and you'll see that uh, when they grow, maybe she has a little bit more attack and he doesn't, or uh, vice versa. Ma typically, I think she ends up with like maybe one or two points more of attack at the end on average. And not much else. Uh, I think Hans may have like a little bit more HP at the end. It's, it's not much of a difference. So uh, growth-wise, it's about the same. Uh, but you just skip over that five levels of frustration when you pick Diane uh, and use her. Uh, now, you still have Hans through that section because you have to take him with you unless you meddle with things and go the route, go go the way of, you know, solo, uh, your solo max, but, uh, you know, that means that if you were frustrated with Hans and now that you have your 14, or oh, sorry, 15 characters, you can ditch him, say, for to keep Ken, or to keep Luke, if you wanted both of the Birdmen, or if you only wanted one of the Birdmen. You know, you trade out Hans, get the Birdmen, and then bring in Diane uh, as your archer instead. Uh, 
you know, you can, it makes it, makes it a little bit easier to have her around because it, it's not easy to level up Hans as you're playing through this. Uh, it's not, not really that easy. Uh, but, uh, I rate, now back to the regular ratings, uh, I rate her still as a three star, I rate a four star. Uh, I don't know, I think I rated Hans as a three star. Uh, I really don't remember. But the reason why I'm actually, I actually bumped up that number is her move may be low, but when they, when your archers promote and they get those three range uh, weapons, they are devastating. They can attack from so far away uh, that it becomes insane. Uh, and later on, when they get their uh, their cannons, uh, they they just do a lot of damage. A lot of damage. Uh, they move better through the forest, so you kind of get around that terrain problem uh, a little bit better. Uh, but overall, it's it's the range of the archers. They made archers powerful in this by not having the basic uh, you attack, I attack back at you uh, every single time we, we fight. Every single time you fight, Diane is going to have just as much of a chance to do damage as Max and not have to worry about an enemy retaliating each time, no matter what they are. Uh, so that's great for them. That's great for the archers, meaning that if you can attack from further down range with other people blocking, you're going to be able to still, you're going to be able to do a ton of damage without having to be in a spot where you can be surrounded by the enemy, especially when you get that three range. It becomes so great. Uh, when you first get her, it's like a three star. Uh, they're, they're okay. Being able to attack at some range is pretty good, but it's not that advantageous in comparison to the two to three range ones. Uh, those become, those are ridiculous. Uh, anyways, that's my ratings for them, and I think like I said, this is going to be the end of this part. Uh, sorry that the first battle was pretty quick, and then we went through a period of me not being able to talk. Uh, but we'll have that fixed for next time. Thank you for sticking with, uh, sticking with me here. Uh, we'll see you next time. My name, my name has been Magnus. Thank you for watching. Bye.